okay here i want to show you how to construct an ellipse with the use of focal point method how to construct an ellipse using focal point method in the construction of ellipse two things are usually given and what are those things the major axis and the minor axis the major axis and the minor axis so here my major axis is 120 mm my minor axis is 80 mm so that is what i'm going to use so now the construction goes as follows so draw a straight line straight horizontal line draw a horizontal line like this okay then you draw a vertical line probably in the middle of this line just draw it so draw a vertical line draw a vertical line okay so after drawing this vertical line you are to draw so we divide the minor axis into two so the minor axis is 80 mm 80 by 2 will give us 40 so let me call the point on intersection of the horizontal and the vertical and let me call it point o so i'm going to take 40 mm up and down uh, point o so from here this is 10 20 30 40 so this is 40 is 40 mm then i will also take 40 up 40 up this is 10 20 30 40 so this is 40 mm here okay so we have these two points we have these two points so we have these two points so this is point c and this is point d okay all right i need to get my point a and point b okay so my point a is in point a and b they are my major uh, axis or the major axis so divide 120 by 2 that will give us 60 so i will find i will I get 60 from here to the left and also to the right it is 10 20 30 40 50 60 so here is 60 so this is 60 then see another 60 to the right side 10 20 30 40 50 and 60 to this point so this point all right so this is point a this is point a and this is point b okay i need to locate my vocal point i need to locate the vocal point so the vocal point to locate the vocal point just take 60 mm which is also the same as oa or ob so put your compass at o as 10 to b or a then you put the compass at point c or d so on this major axis draw an arc draw an arc here and then you draw an arc here so this point this point and this point they are my vocal points so i will call this one i will call it f1 this is f1 and i will call this i will call it f2 so these are the vocal points so the next thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to divide the distance OF1 and OF2 into a number of equal parts. So a number of equal parts, you choose it yourself. Just choose the number of equal parts that you want to divide into. So you can use 4, you can use 5, any one that you like. But here, I'm going to use, I'm going to use 4. I'm going to use 4. I'm going to use 4. So from F1, so set your ruler as I set it here draw a line now from f2 do the same thing set your ruler like this and draw a line okay so on this line now so i'll take my compass extend to any convenient radius extend to any convenient radius and i will make four arcs on this line i make four arcs on this line this is one one is two so this is three and this is four 
okay so the same radius i will come to this point f2 so we make four arcs on this line one this is two this is three and this is the fourth one and this is fourth one okay so now i will join the last point with point o join the last point with point o it goes like this so the same thing goes with this so join the last point with point o so it goes like this okay so the next thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to draw higher lines to this line so let me know okay i'm not going to remember it later okay so i will set my set square along this line then shift it to the next point on the line the next division of the line so i will draw a straight line so the line goes like this when you touch this line you stop it there so the next one of it draw a line you touch this stop it there the next one draw a line so when you touch this you stop it there so the next one i'm going to do the same for this on this side i'm going to do the same on this side so, so set your ruler along this line set your ruler along this line so then so you move the set square to the next point so draw a straight line so move it to the next point or division so draw a line so to this is how to divide a line into a number of equal parts this is how to divide a line to a number of equal parts okay so draw this okay now so after you have done this so you number uh you number this uh point so number this point so i'm going to call this i will call this i'll call this one i'll call it one this is one this is two and this is three and here is one this is two and this is three okay, okay. so we have what we have this so the next thing i'm going to do is that i will take my compass put it at point a and extend to one on this side extend to one put it at point a on the left side extend your compass to one on the right side extend your compass to one on the right side i hope you can see it extend your compass to one on the right side as i'm showing it here extend to d to one on the right side here so then put the pinpoint of the compass at point f1 and draw an arc up draw an arc it up and draw it down here so bring that same radius to point f2 bring the same radius to point f2 so draw an arc up and down okay so next take it back to a take it back to a extend it to two extend it to two extend it to two okay extend it to two then you put it at f1 draw an arc up and draw an arc down the line and then take it take the same radius to point f2 draw an arc up and draw it down okay so the next is put the compass at a again put it at compass again extend to three on the right side extend to three on the right side okay so put the pinpoint of the compass at f1 here with at f1 draw an arc up and draw an arc down here then we take it to f2 take it to f2 with the same radius so draw an arc up and down okay so the next thing that we are going to do is that put your compass at a again extend to one on the left side extend it to one on the left side extend it to one on the left side and remove it from there put the pinpoint of the compass at f1 draw an arc here draw an arc here okay 
grab arc here and lock it here and here when you touch this first arc this is the first arc that we drew so stop it there so the next bring that bring it to f2 bring it to f2 so when you touch this arc stop it there and when you touch this stop it there okay so next is, next is take it to a again extend it to two on the left side extend it to two on the left side as i'm doing it here put it at f1 draw an arc here then draw an arc on this second one then take the same radius to f2 so draw an arc here and draw an arc here okay so the next is put your compass at a again put it at a here and we extend it to three on the left side three on the left side put it at f1 from arc here and arc here so put it at f2 put at f2 draw an arc here and we draw an arc here okay so now we are going to con construct the ellipse we are going to construct the ellipse and the point that we are going to use we have this point point b here this point this point this point this point this point here this point this point, this point. And point a so we also have this point so we have this point we have this point we have this point d point c is also part of it so we have this point we have this point and we have this point we are going to join them together with the use of french curve with the use of french curve so this is it let's be very careful with the use of the French curve so it's easy to use you just need to learn how to use it you need to learn how to use it continuous practice to make you to be perfect at it so I can join this together from here I can join this together okay so next is I will join these three together so these three points I will join them together okay I'm done that part so the next one is i will turn it to this side turn to this side so from a very careful with the use of this side so from a so turn this together like this then set this and so we turn this together So I'm done with that part, that is half of the ellipse. So next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to work on this side now. I'm going to work on this side. So I will, okay. So set the French curve and then we draw this. Okay, so next is I'm going to join these three points together. These three points, I can join them together at once. Okay. And I will join this with this, with point D. Then I can turn to this side now. So I'll turn it to this side. Turn it like this so that we can see it together. So, um, okay. So, I'm joining this together with this. Okay. So, I'm joining this two together. This two, I'm joining them together. Next, join this together with this. Next, 
the last one so the last one So this is the ellipse. So this is the ellipse. This is the ellipse. So I have constructed the ellipse. So this is it. I've constructed the ellipse with the use of vocal point method. So this is the first vocal point and this is the second vocal point. Okay. So the next thing I want to do is that you may be required to construct a tangent to this ellipse. If they have to construct a tangent to this ellipse. So, they have to construct a tangent to this ellipse at, at any point on the ellipse. So, let me take this point, this point as point P, point P on the ellipse. So, now, this point P will be connected with point F1 and F2. So, draw a straight line, join P and F1 together and join P with F2, join P with F2, join P with F2. So after joining uh, P with F1 and F2, so take your compass, put it at this point, this angle, you are going to bisect this angle and to bisect it, you first construct a small arc, you first construct a small arc. So we are going to construct a small arc on this uh to buy we want to buy this angle so with your compass extend your compass to any convenient radius draw an arc so draw an arc like this so after drawing this arc so bisect this arc bisect this arc just take your compass extend to any convenient radius extend it to any convenient radius so draw an arc like this then same radius come to this point come to this point here and draw an arc okay so the arc intersect at this point so i'm going to join this point with point p and this is how it goes this is how it goes Okay, so that's the line. So after you have drawn this line, then you set your ruler along this point P, set your ruler like this, and draw a line. Draw a straight line. A straight line goes like this. Okay, so this line, this line, this line, this line is the tangent this is the tangent this line is the tangent that we asked to construct on this ellipse so this is the tangent okay so this is the tangent that we asked to construct to this uh, ellipse so here is it so Construction of ellipse with the use of vocal point method is as simple as shown here.